In our first story, we get a taste of Williamson County history from a glass of whiskey. And we'll visit the first legal distillery to open there since the early 1900s. As Laura Faber learned, the Leapers Fork Distillery is making whiskey the old fashioned way. If this land could talk, it would have a colorful story to tell. 27 rolling acres outside Leapers Fork in Williamson County have quite a history. A heritage that whiskey lovers are reclaiming and paying tribute to. It's an old industry made new again through a growing number of new artisan distilleries here and statewide. 2009, a lot of forward-thinking uh, legislators, they came together, wrote some legislation and got it passed to allow distilleries back into Tennessee. So now you're seeing a burgeoning industry come back. Leapers Fork Distillery is the first legal distillery in Williamson County since the early 1900s. The property is gorgeous. From the 5,000 square foot timber frame still house to the circa 1820 cabin. It was deconstructed in Van Leer, Tennessee, and rebuilt log by log, complete with a carving of the name of the man who originally built it. Through daily tours and tastings, visitors are greeted by tour guides like Pops and learn that Tennessee and whiskey have always gone hand in hand. We make whiskey in what's called pre-prohibition style. That style can be traced back to Scottish and Irish settlers who came to the state. Lead distiller and proprietor Lee Kennedy says many came with whiskey know-how and literally the stills on their backs. There's a direct link from Scotland and Ireland over to the United States of those early settlers that came in and started producing uh, whiskey, same method they used in Scotland and Ireland. They couldn't grow barley like they grew in Scotland and Ireland very well, so they used their, their native grains that they had here. They could grow rye, so rye whiskey was actually the first uh, American whiskey to, to really be produced in any kind of bulk. Uh, and then corn-based distillates, bourbon, Tennessee whiskey, uh, made from corn. Corn is America's uh, native grain. And so those guys took with their knowledge from Scotland and Ireland and literally just adapted it to the new world. Census numbers show that in 1896, the distilling industry was the largest manufacturing industry in the state, 322 total distilleries. Of course, prohibition put a stop to that. But even after federal prohibition ended in 1933, most Tennessee counties voted against distillation, essentially instituting a prohibition here of legal whiskey manufacturing that lasted 100 years. But moonshine prevailed. Luckily for Kennedy, today he is able to legally make a living from his passion for whiskey. He built his first still at 16 years old, but now is fulfilling a dream. He left his career in financial services and opened Leapers Fork Distillery in 2016. We're part of a kind of a renaissance in Tennessee distilling that's been going on since 2009. Even this property has a history soaked in whiskey. Colonel Henry Hunter once owned this land and hundreds of acres more in the surrounding area. When we came up with our first brand, but we decided to name that after him. You know, it's, he was a true Tennessee volunteer. So we were kind of telling his story, which is kind of the story of a lot of early, uh, early folks into Middle Tennessee. Leapers Fork Distillery is a small batch distillery producing about 25,000 gallons a year. Inside the still house, you find vats of bubbly mash in cypress fermentation tanks. There is also the beautiful 500 gallon swan neck whiskey still. That's 137 proof whiskey. 
So this is what the whiskey looks like as it's coming off the still. 100% of the color is gonna come from the barrel once it enter, enters the barrel. But this is what we call new make whiskey. And all those charred white oak barrels are an extremely important part of the process. Two coarse spirits are made here, Tennessee whiskey and bourbon. Sugar maple charcoal is the only difference really between Tennessee whiskey and bourbon. So the way you really make Tennessee whiskey is you make bourbon in the state of Tennessee and before that uh, whiskey goes into a barrel, we filter it through sugar maple charcoal. This Tennessee Crossroads barrel has just been filled with whiskey and the next step in the process involves putting in this plug made of poplar wood that will swell and completely seal the barrel. Once it's in there, this whiskey won't see the light of day for five to seven years. Are you ready? Here we go. Okay, that's satisfying. Since opening in 2016, the Colonel Hunters and the White Whiskey Natchez Trace brands have kept the distillery afloat, but November 2020 will be memorable for Kennedy and his staff. That's when the Leaper's Fork flagship brand of whiskey comes out, the whiskey that flowed into those barrels years ago. Kennedy can't wait to see it in local restaurants, bars, and retail. I feel very blessed and fortunate to do what we do in this industry to actually create something tangible. You know, we're at the end of the day, we're making a physical product and we're using our local resources to do that. So we kind of look at our whiskey as an expression of our surroundings. Learning what it takes to transform a grain into a libation that whiskey lovers can pour into a glass and enjoy and where those age old recipes came from may be one of the most satisfying history lessons of all.